What's good, YouTube? It's your boy b -Bot back with another video. You know what I'm saying? You know it's been a minute. Well, not really. I still post it every day. I just didn't... Goodness gracious. I just didn't make a video yesterday because I made two on Friday and prepared myself because I was busy yesterday. So, I needed a video to drop for y'all to make sure my consistency is there. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak on consistency and not be consistent. So, guess what? We is consistent around here. Hold on, y'all. I don't know what this is. Let me make sure... I don't got nothing on my face. I don't know if this joint will focus. It should be. I hope so. But be right back. I'm gonna make sure I don't got nothing on my face. I'll make sure I look. I ain't looking dumb. Okay, I'm good. So today we talk about how everything. Not everything. We're talking about how it's supposed to be hard. Um, your journey is gonna be hard. If you really want it, if it's valuable, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to achieve. It's gonna be hard to get. It's gonna be hard to work for. It's gonna be hard for the whole process if it's valuable. Because if it wasn't, if it was easy, everybody would have it. And what's the value in that, you know? So today we talk about that. And yeah, so it, think about that. Think about that when you're going through something. So say me, I'm always use YouTube as an example. You know why? Because this is what I want to do. Me posting videos every day. I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be hard to come up with ideas. I probably made um, videos on the same topic, but... You know, I change it up. I go deeper. I mean, I go more in depth with it. So, um, you know, it gets hard. I ain't gonna lie. It gets hard. It gets hard to post every day. It gets hard to come up with ideas. It gets hard to, you know, balance out your time because I still got to go to the gym after this. It's six o'clock or almost six o'clock. I got to go to the gym after this. So, yeah, so it's going to be hard, but I know it's going to be hard. And this is what I prepared myself for. This is what I set myself up for. This is what I knew was going to happen. I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it was going to be a lot of challenges. I knew there was going to be haters. I knew there was going to be people that support me. I knew there was going to be all types of people. And I know what comes with this life. And I feel like even though I'm not there yet and I'm not successful on YouTube yet, my journey is preparing me for when I do become successful. And I know how I'm going I'm to learn how everything works. I'm going to learn how how to move i'm gonna learn how to come up with better ideas post every day you know what i'm saying it's, it's just things that i gotta work on it's gonna be hard though and if it wasn't hard then everybody would do it and if everybody did it then what's the purpose what's the value there's no value in it and i go for whatever you want to do whether it's nails whatever it is, tattoos whatever it is it's gonna be hard to get them clients but when you get it it's gonna be worth it because it's valuable if you're good at your job um, it's going to be hard to get them clients. It's going to be hard to get them viewers. It's going to be hard to get, you know, them customers. It's going to be hard. But if you keep going, you're going to eventually build up a strong amount of, I was going to say fan base, but that'll go for anybody that you do YouTube. So me, it'll be, I'll be able to build a strong enough fan base to watch my videos and consistent viewers. I know it was hard, but it's going to be worth it at the end. So that's how you got to think of everything. You got to think of everything like that. If it's valuable, bro, and you want something like, if you want to be a nurse, them two years of school is going to be hard for your associates. But if you want your bachelor's or your master's, I think, it's four years. Yo, it's going to be hard, but it's worth it. It's, it's going to be worth it. So you might as well do it and knock it out if that's really what you want to do. If that's really what you want to do. Go ahead and do it. It's going to be hard either way. So if you're looking for something easy, then you ain't going to really be, like, successful. Like, if you want quick money, you're going to be easy. The only way to do that is really illegally. I mean, you could blow up overnight. But, like, what are the odds? I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying what are the odds? So, hey, if you want it, you gon you ain't going to stop. You're going to keep going. It's going to be hard. No matter what, it's going to be hard. It's nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy. Um, Nothing comes quick. Nothing comes easy. Nothing comes quick. You got to put in that work. Them people that you be watching, like DDG, uh, Deshae Frost, Kai Sinat, it all seemed like they blew up overnight. But nah, they was really putting that work in. They was really put, especially for me and DDG. I mean, me watching DDG. I grew up on DDG. I've been watching DDG. He's an OG. I've been watching him forever. Literally, college days when he he had the uh, the little fade, the little flat top. I've been watching not flat top, you know, the little fro fade. You, but you know what I'm talking about, the orange show. I've been watching DDG for that long. I know he ain't blow up overnight. I literally watched him grow as a YouTuber and as an influencer a social media influencer i watched that and i know it ain't gonna be easy but look what what he ain't stopped look where it got him he's dating Halle baby he's dating the little mermaid 
he got a kid with her. Like, come on now. So it's gonna be hard, but if you put in that work, you can see where it could bring you. It's gonna be worth it at the end, you know? Um, hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft times create soft men. Soft men create hard times. Let me break this down for you. Hard times create hard men. Pause. Um, it's gonna be, you know, the strongest people, bro. I'm not saying I'm not saying y'all weak. I'm not talking about physically strong. I'm talking about mentally strong. Mentally strong people, they've been through a lot because, like in the military, why do they always come out so stern? What's the word? Whatever. I don't know the word. Why do they come out so serious? Or they know how to be so serious and they're so mentally strong. Now, I'm not going to say, I know there's a lot of things that come with the military too. It, 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 it leaves people mentally weak, you know, because you know what happens. Depression and stuff. But we're not talking about that. We talk about the good part. We talk about the good part. Like, my, my grandfather, he was in the army. And if you look at that man and you don't know him from a can of paint, you will think this man is like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, you can tell he's a strong, independent man. And you know why? It's that military, bro. It's that discipline. It's the hard times that the military put him in, or it's the hard times that he went through. As I don't know his story. I'm going to just speak on the military because I know the military not easy. Uh, so I'm not going to speak on his story because I don't really know his story. But I know the military not easy. And that go for my cousin, too, my um, cousin Jay. I know that military not easy. But... It create hard times. Like a lot of people, a lot of successful people, they came from the hood. They came from. They was either really poor. They came from the hood. Not not all of them, but a lot of them. You know, bad living situations. But what makes them? Come on, pop. What makes them um keep on going? What makes them keep on working? What makes them keep um staying humble? What makes them? What drives them? What motivates them? It's the fear of not going back to where they was. That's why hard times create. Hard men, no diddy. Um, and then hard men create soft times, no diddy. So, um, this means, like, bro, the stronger you are, the easier it gets. That's why discipline is so good because when you're, bro, it, when you practice discipline, you do something when you don't want to do it, then it just gets easier and you're just used to it. And it's not like you don't even want to do it no more. You know that's what you got to do. So, you're going to get up and do it and knock it out. That's what happens when you are disciplined. When you're not disciplined, it's like, bro, you don't want to do it? Oh, okay. I'm not going to do it because I don't feel like it. You're not disciplined at all. But that's why I said hard men create soft times. No diddy. So when you have that strong mindset, man, it's going to be easy for you to post videos every day because that discipline. It's going to be easy for you to post every day. It's going to be easy for you to get up at 6 o'clock every day. All you got to do is just do it. It's going to be easy for you to go to the gym every day. Just do it. That's that discipline. You got to go when you don't want to go. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you soft times create soft men no diddy so what i mean by this is think about it think about it just think about it like this people that are now i'm not saying this is an issue but people that are born into rich families that don't have to work for a single penny that don't have to work ever in their life that gets everything handed to them and they just like everything would you call that being spoiled Y'all ever seen a spoiled person before? They, oh my goodness. They don't work for nothing. They get everything they want. You see how they act? They act like a brat. Now, I'm not saying everybody's like this because I know some people are born into rich families, but they still got to work to get that experience. So they, they don't end up like these people. But like, you can see in the white, in the movies. I'm not trying to be racist or nothing, but the white girls, the little spoiled white girls, bro, you see how they act. But we're not talking about girls now. We talk about men. Soft men create hard times. I mean, soft times create hard men. So when people don't, I mean, soft times create soft men. No diddy. So when people don't go through no issues or nothing, all they know is good. So they don't got nothing to stress about. They don't know. They don't have no experience in the past. The a lot of times they're lazy. Their parents do all the work for them. So a lot of times they're lazy. They're mentally weak because they don't think they gotta grind for anything. Now I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm just saying. It's, this is this is it happens. They're mentally weak. They don't gotta grind for nothing. They don't gotta work for nothing. They could just wake up and hop in a Ferrari. They don't gotta put in the work for that Ferrari. They crash it. Okay, it, it don't matter. My parents gonna give me another one anyways. But then let you let you put them boys at um Walmart for an eight hour shift. Watch how them watch how they suffer. Watch how they go crazy, mentally weak, bro. And 
It's because how they was born, how they was raised. They ain't go through nothing. Their, their life was picture perfect. Their life was literally picture perfect. They ain't got to worry about food. They ain't got to worry about clothes. They ain't got to worry about where to live. They live in a mansion, a 20 bedroom house with Ferraris, Bugattis, Lamborghinis outside. That's all they're used to. Then they see a Honda. If they got to drive in a Honda, what do they do? If they got to take a taxi, what do they do? They freak out, bro. Ew, I'm not getting in that joint. Of course not, because look how you was raised. And y'all get the point. Y'all get the point. So soft times create soft men. Like when moms, that's why fathers are important. Because when moms baby their kids, they do something wrong, they don't discipline them. I'm not talking about beating them. You don't got to beat no kid. But... You know, that you don't ground them, you let them do whatever they want. You see how they act? They cry about everything until they get their way. They're emotional about everything. They throw fits because they don't get their way. That's what I'm saying. Soft times create soft men. I can't even call you men. I'm going to say a boy, no ditty. And soft men create hard times. What does that mean? People, men, soft men, people, men that didn't go through anything, they only make life harder for themselves. So, um, how do I explain it? Say you was born into a rich family, then everything just crashed. You don't got your parents no more. But you, you're you not used to working. You never worked in your life. So what you gonna do? You're not used to money. All, you, all you're used to is buying. So what you gonna do? Soft men create hard times. You don't know what to do because you was never, you never worked. You never learned about business. You never went to school. You just got everything you want. You don't know about taxes, none of that. Soft men create hard times. All you do is make life harder for you. Or if, even if you're not speaking about rich people, soft men create hard times. You want you you want something, right? You want something. Say you got a, a vision, you got a dream, your dream job or whatever. How you gonna do that dream job if you are you're soft? You don't have no discipline. Um, you don't have no drive. You just got the idea of a dream job, but you don't have no discipline. You don't have no drive. You expect everything to be handed to you. You're going to be living like that forever and it's still going to be just a dream, just a vision. You're not going to be living in reality because you're so used to everything just handed to you that you don't know how to work for things. Now, when push comes to shove, you know, anything could crash down and you could lose any money. You know what you're going to do now. You don't know how to work. You don't know how you don't have an education or maybe you do, but you really didn't. You know I'm saying you didn't need it. So you didn't take it serious. Because you already got the money that you had. You know what I'm trying to say? So, like, soft men create hard times. So, yeah, man. But, moral of the story, it's supposed to be hard, bro. It's supposed to be hard. And it's going to be a lot of changes. It's going to be plenty of changes that you got to do. To get to get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Now, this is what I mean. This is literally the definition of insanity. Let's look up the definition of insane. Insane definition. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. The state of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, maybe... Maybe that don't... Maybe that didn't work. Maybe that didn't work. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. That didn't work. That didn't work out. Anyways. Basically, bro, if you don't... If you... Say you got a dream, you want your dream job. How you gonna work your dream job? How you gonna get to your dream job? How you gonna be a nurse if you're not going to school for nursing? How you gonna be a YouTube star if you never posted a YouTube video? Sorry for my dogs, bro. And then they gonna leave, they gonna leave their dog out there. Bro. How you gonna be a YouTuber if you don't post a video? How you gonna be a construction worker if you don't know how to swing a hammer? Like you can't just, why are they leaving their dogs out there? Like, it's pissing me off. Anyway, y'all get the point. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. This percent of y'all is not subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's very important. I love y'all. These dogs is wildin'. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.